didn't see you there, it's Thomas Edward, that's me that is. And today's is a, another Knoll video, part two of the build. So uh, today, you know, I'm sat in the boat here because I'm sort of sat on what we're going to replace. So today I'm going to replace this bumper here and these two lights. Because that one's knackered and might as well just put a new pair on it for the, the sake of it. And a brand new bumper because it's, it's had a bit of a, a meeting with a guardrail. So we've got a new one of these to put on. And I'm going to show you how to do it well. I'm going to show you, I'm going to learn myself, but also maybe you will learn something from it as well. I'm sure most of you know how to do it anyway. A lot of you race them. So uh, let's uh, let's get on with it, shall we? So uh, this is this is Noel's new bumper. Uh, it's a lot better condition. It's got a few nicks and bits on it, but it's a hell of a lot better. And now uh, I'll just put this down here. Hold on. There we go, that's the new bumper. And then in here, got 10 quid off uh, Facebook for a pair, posted. It's two nice shiny, um, ZRA lights or 25 lights. I think these actually did come off a, a ZR actually. So they were a bargain of the day because some of them are like 15 quid a piece on second hand on eBay. 10 quid for the pair. Bargain. You know, you shop around, you always get a bargain. Never buy the first thing you see. It's because you always get shafted. So there you go. It's pretty good, that is. And then what we're going to, you know, they'll be on like that there. We've got a new bumper here, hopefully, in like a, probably an hour's time, but we'll see where we get on. How I looked how to do this online last night, just to refresh the head, is you want to jack it up, um, and there's two little, a lot of the bolts you can get to without jacking up, but there's two little ones in the arch that you can't get to. I've just had a bit of a play, because I really don't want to jack it up on this, on this stuff, because it's really annoying. So it makes everything, it's like, it's trying to, it's like trying to run through treacle but with a jack, it's really difficult. I don't mind doing it but it's just a bit of a pain. So I've had a bit of a play and I could get a spanner in it, a bit of a, oh, a, bit of a ring spanner there, a 10 mil. I can just get them out I think but we're going to have a see, and hopefully we can get them out, touch, touch wood, we can get them out without jacking it up. But the rest we can do without it jacking up, it's just these two bolts. We actually said there were screws in line, but these are bolts, so this is, I think this has been off before. Uh, so uh, we'll start with uh, getting some uh, lights out, I think. So uh, I'll just take that 10 mil, uh, see? 10 mil, I've still got me 10 mil. I, don't, I can't believe people lose them. They probably say, oh, you're not working hard enough. You'd be losing them all the time, pal. They call me pal because I had a head. It looked like a lump of dog meat. Pow. I hate bud as well. Bud really irritates me as a drum. Right, bud. I'm not your bud. I really am not your bud. Right, so we're in here. Gonna... What is carpet? This carpet has a screw here, but they, they always go a bit dicky and they come off. There you go, that's the back of the light. Took that off. Actually, we need to suss out today. The rever oh, both first lights have gone out. It's either a dicky connection or there's a fuse gone underneath the dash. Don't know, we'll have to work that one out when we put the others back in. Um, so in here there's, there's three, there's a three, yeah, three uh, eight mil um, we, uh, we nuts holding the light in. This, there you go. One light. Well, I should sell that one, it's not bad. If you want a, if you want a driver's side rear light, drop us a comment in the below. It's a bit of a scuff there, but it's good light, that. Uh, we'll, we'll try not get that mixed up with the others. I remember when we first got our first ZR, it had some proper, I didn't know at the time, I chucked them. Well, I, didn't, well, I, ch I chucked them after I sprayed them. And, uh, long story short is it had some proper trophy lights in it. You know, the horrible chrome surrounds, and I sprayed them blue, trophy blue, to make them match because I didn't like the chrome, because it looks a bit tacky. And then, and then, we got some proper, we actually got some BRM lights in the back, what well, got a bit of dark tinting, uh, but they look more OEM than the trophy lights, and uh, I chopped them, and actually, a good set of them's worth quite a bit of money, because they were, they were a factory fit um, trophy lights, where they weren't like a, they weren't like the Lexus lights people put in uh, today. Oh well, I think it's dying out. 
If it was built, if it was built, oh yeah. Now if it was built with them, it'll go back with them. That's how I see. There you go, see that one's that's broke that is. I think it's broken that corner as well. So we'll be binning that but keeping lights and the back bit out of it. See that one got the whole stud square of that one as well. A bit knackered. Oh, Specialised WD. Always people always always either really like WD or they like something else or they like GT85 or me dad. My dad loves duck oil. Well, it's a bit like it's a bit better actually, I think, than um, WD. But people, it's personal preference. What people have, or people have plus gas. That's another one. What people use. Um, I don't know. It's quite a few. Quite a few lubricants. People. It's like a rocket thing as well. It's quite a few different choices. I think WD is the industry standard, and people said. If someone could make an aftershave out of WD, they would, because the smell of it's really nice. Pretty cool, that. Just think, no, no, didn't think two months ago when he was, and he was up on that moor in the snow, when he took the banking with the previous owner. He didn't think that two months later, in the spring, with, with geese flying over, that he'll be having a. Uh, some new uh, new wheels and a, a new back bumper going on him and new lights. How times change, eh? There you go, that's the first, that's the first 10 mil uh, bolt out. I'll just uh, go and put it on my uh, steely uh, magnet tray. So right, it's all there. I've actually got some new ones, actually. What will go on it, some stainless steel, but we might use a few old ones here and there. Don't know how many we've got with us, but we might have a full set of uh, Tommy's, Tommy Graham, oh it's actually come off down, even that's broken off the bumper. So it wasn't even holding in this side. Uh, but we've got uh, some brand new Tommy, Tommy Tor Thomas Graham's um, new, uh, nuts, uh, well bolts I should say, uh, to uh, go on it. And there's, uh, so we've done those two and there's one underneath just near your towing out, your towing up on the back. Right, oh it feels a bit, feels a bit crusty. There you go, snap. There you go, it snapped. It's completely sharp, but it doesn't matter. Because I can bang that out and put a new one on that. You're really good. Tell you what, the people who do this for, do this for YouTube, there must be some hell of swearing going on when it doesn't go right. I just, I just pulled the other side out and I managed to do it without taking the wheel off. That man in line, he probably, he probably had big, big bare hands and couldn't get in probably. Because you got skinny hands like mine. It's made for the job. Oh, what a win. What can you do you, on these? Dead hard ride. But, and people lower these as well. They must, be, they must have broken backs by the end of it. Don't get lowered cars unless you're going to race them, and then I do get it. But if you're going to do a lowered car on the road, you're just a tool. You just really are just a tool. Uh, ooh. Ooh. It's a bit, uh, needs a bit of uh, attention there. It's a bit of... That's not too bad. It's just there. It's gone. It sort of water pulls down on it. You know, when a boot shut up, water sits around there and these, these rubbers up. Because it's not being probably rubber's not being replaced and it's all gone a bit naff. That's one out. I think is that I think Gordon or JJ's going a bit down there, but it's not gone as bad as that. So I forgot two bolts on here, and I'm going to hold me mic because my muff keeps coming off, and it's doing me nothing. Yep. Kind of. 
no more of those pointy screws. Oh yeah, it's got that film on it. We need that on the other one. That is uh, one old bumper off and that's what it looks like underneath. And that's where that wire goes to. I was looking at this in the boot. It's like a water pipe. I don't understand what that's for. Is it or is it for if you put parking sensors on these? I was looking at that, I didn't know what it was. There you go, there's the Chav exhaust with two brackets on. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty solid. Oh, maybe the, yeah, it's, it's a bit crusty there on that bit where that drain plug is. Bit of rust there, probably needs attention. Can you see it? Can you see it? Bit of rust there. Bit of attention, but the rust is alright. Oh, that side's alright. Um, and then that was that bracket, you know, it snapped on me there. Look how rusty it is. So uh, it's all completely. Gone. So I don't know what we do with that. Uh, and it's gonna when it comes off again. We want to give it a good damn good clean. We haven't got anything worse to clean it. And uh, that rust there is the rust we're gonna deal with next time we pull it off. But we need a really really hot dry day. And we'll do that. We'll do it down the lane. It won't be too hard. We'll even come back here and do it. Uh, but I think we'll we'll hang this back on because we've only got two hours of light left and uh, get it all bolted back up. Uh, put the new lights in and uh, Bob's your uncle, so uh, we'll get to, we'll get fitting without me dropping it. Ow. Ow. So I've got in here got some stainless. Uh, we won't need them. We've got some stainless washers and uh, here and in here we've got some uh, stainless uh, bolts in there. I've got one ready. So uh, I've put my bumper back on. I didn't film it because there was a lot of few uh, few uh, words here and there. I couldn't really show on camera. I had to really adjust it, uh, and I got it on, and then realised that oh, the plucky linings have got to be on the inside, so I had to take it off again. These linings down here should be on the back, so I had to take it off again. And it's still slightly because it's been in storage. It's just lost its shape. It needs put a hot water or a hot heat gun on it, reshape it. Just put that on, I've got to get some new plastic screws, but it's coming, like I said uh, early on, it's coming off again because we've got to do a bit of rust on it. So it, I, it, it's nice and firm at the moment, it's on, and I've just put one of these in. Uh, so I've already got another brand new light, and then just, uh, we'll put the other one, we'll put the last one in, and then um, we'll see if all the lights work, and then we'll finish the video, because I think, I think Elton John, I think the sun's coming going down on me. I think that was an Elton John song. And um, I've actually got, at the moment, I've got waiting in my pile of books at home, I've got Elton John's autobiography. Because it's a bit of showbiz. Like I like reading showbiz books. Just had a chat to a man coming to his storage unit and he, uh, he said his mum used to have a couple of these, apparently. So uh, he said they were good cars and he said, he said it looks a good project, and he was, you know, he said, he said, uh, he said, uh, it'll look good when it, once it's done. So that's good. You always see, you always meet, you always meet MG people, wherever you go. She probably maybe had a 25 more than a ZR, but you never know, she probably did, she probably had a bit of cash and got a, a ZR, you know. The fog lights and the, the brake. Fog lights, that's brakes, no brakes. Oh, we've got one out. 
on the passenger side. So um, we'll sort that out now. Yeah, there you go, we've got both lights. We've got indicator. So we've got both, we've got both indicators, left and right, and then is it still out reverse? Yeah, so it must be uh it must be a fuse up the reverse has gone out. We do it when we get home, is it must be a fuse underneath the dash has gone out or even under it. But I don't know which two fuse boxes do the reverse lights. We've had that problem before in another car and I think I put a new fuse in. Uh, but uh, just, uh, shut that down, there you go. That's what Noel's new back end looks like with uh, two new uh, cheap £10 lights, what a bargain, but they're a fantastic buy. And a fantastic buy off Maddie. A friend with all the all the other ZRs and she gave her a nice bumper. It's got a few it's got this scuff here. What we knew about when we bought it. But it's not it's not nothing compared to that one behind you. Um but like I say it's gonna come off again. Gotta get me out. I gotta get Thomas Edward uh, flat cap on. Um there you go. So next probably part three. So this is part two, probably part three. Maybe a new boot might go on, or we might buy then if you come with me. I'll just show you in part two. Um, we're going to put a new bumper on him, and we've got a new wing for him as well. But we're still miss missing a driver's wing. So drop me a comment if you have an X Power driver's wing, because people have them and they won't post them, and they even won't let me send Hermes to go and pick them up because they go, oh, they get bent, but I'm not bothered because I can re-straighten them out. Because I don't want to get a pre-patterned one and um, spray it. I want a proper X-Power grey one. So if you've got one hiding away in your shed or your garage, let me know. Drop me a comment below. I'd happily have it off you. Because uh, that's the worst wing. So is. maybe part three, if we get a wing, maybe part three will be the front end overhaul. But more likely part three will be doing the tailgate, doing the, put the new hatch on it. Uh, but So this could be, this, this front end conversion could be part four. And they're on part three for the tailgate, so but let me know if anyone's got a wing. But for for now, Noel's got a new back bumper, new lights and silver wheels and a centre cap what you saw in part one. And then eventually it will look it will look like a shiny one once you put a bumper on him and sort of get rid of that bit there, you'd look alright, won't it? Yeah. You know? Um but anyway I hope you enjoyed the uh, part three of this no, here's part three one. Part two of this Thomas Edward video of fixing up no and uh, next time I see you, we'll, we'll be back here probably with more tools and more swearing and more muff coming off my mic and stuff. I might have to try and sort that out. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Drop us a comment and a like and give us a subscribe. We're over 200 subscribers now, 209 I think, as we, as we speak. Uh, but probably a bit more when you watch this. Um, I probably might be quite up a few by then. And uh, also remember to click that big bell. Ding!